Hey everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today is update day. That's right, Sketch 49 dropped this morning and I'm pretty excited because it comes with native prototyping and prototype previewing in Sketch Cloud and Sketch Mirror. So that's pretty sweet. So I just wanted to dive in quickly and take a look at the prototyping features, tell you a little bit about how it feels and how it works and then share my thoughts after we're all done. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, I wanna get straight into it and check out Sketch 49. When I launched Sketch for Mac, you can see that I have some new orange icons in my tool panel over here, a new prototyping menu item that's up top. That's pretty much it for the most part. And I wanna get straight into it to show you how you would kind of rapidly prototype a design that you have. I have four artboards on my screen, and if I simply tap one item or element on the screen, you can see over in my panel, my kind of tools panel, I get a new prototyping menu that pops up with a plus icon. I can either press that plus or the hotkey of W to, which I just press W, to create a flow from one board to another. Simply connecting it to the next board allows me to make sure I've chosen the correct target and then choose what simple animation, either no animation, simple pushes to the left, right, up, or down to animate from screen to screen. And so I'm going to kind of animate from my login screen to the list view, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take an element here and prototype over to that shoe, this element prototype to that shoe, and I wanna make sure my back buttons return back from whence they came. Now we're all set up, I wanna see this thing you know, in action, I come up and press my preview button. When I do so, I'm able to choose which screen is my home screen by flagging it, so it'll always start there. And on my artboard, you can see, I have a tiny little flag that's popped up to say that's my prototype start. Now, if I just tap the login screen, I get a simple kind of screen to screen animation. No fancy kind of animations, just screen to screen. I can tap on a shoe and tap back out tap on another shoe, tap back out, and I'm getting all the functionality that I would in a basic prototype. It's pretty smooth, it feels pretty good. Um, there's not a lot of extra bells and whistles, maybe they'll add some more as they go along, but so far this feels pretty nice. If you have Sketch Mirror installed on your iOS device, you can also cruise your prototype on your iOS device by simply you know, launching Sketch mirror, which feels pretty nice as well. Lastly, if your team members don't have Sketch or Sketch Cloud and they want to preview what you've done, you can upload everything now to Sketch Cloud, which before was kind of okay, but now considering it shows you the prototypes, pretty sweet. To do that, all you do is close your preview, head up here to Sketch Cloud, and you want to upload, or in my case, I've already created one, I want to update the document. And so I'm gonna update or upload my document, and it should open up the browser after it's done and launch that prototype and all the different artboards in Sketch Cloud. I can then, after I, I can see I have the URL there, and I, if I click over to my browser, and then they're now separated in between the artboards down here and the prototypes that I've created, right? So you can have multiple different prototypes, maybe prototyping the, uh, a, a purchase flow or a login flow, and those will all show up here. And when I click on one, I can see I get a simple kind of loading of the animation. And now all of my friends and coworkers can preview the same thing that I've made and they can also comment on them right there in the comment bar on the side. I think it's pretty good. I think there's a lot of other tools that have done some serious work on prototyping right there inside the app. Framer's looking really, really nice. There's a couple different ones, Phase, and I know Envision Studio's doing some hot stuff, but you know, I'm a sketch user and the ability to make prototypes really simply sometimes might be exactly what I'm looking for. I have other prototyping tools that I can do really in-depth prototyping. I know how to use After Effects and create complex animations and show those to my team. But sometimes you just need a good feel for how things move from screen to screen and you don't wanna necessarily export things out to a different place to do that. It's such a taxing process. I feel like they've actually made Sketch Cloud an amazing product, like right now, right here today. Sketch 49 made Sketch Cloud really relevant and really, really important. So I like it, it feels good, it worked pretty good, I didn't have any real issues with it, and I'm hoping that they'll continue to build out the prototyping aspect of Sketch as they go along. That's all I got for now, that's my thoughts. I'm giving it two thumbs up. 
and I hope that you guys will check it out and see what you think about it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Sketch 49, prototyping inside of Sketch, and also just prototyping in general, where we're at as interaction designers. Let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I gotta get back to work and use Sketch 49 for my day of work. Hope you guys are making some awesome stuff, designing cool stuff, and checking out the latest and the greatest. Talk to you guys next time.